Hi everyone, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger on Poshmark and on Instagram, and today I want to talk to you about one of my most requested videos, and that is what to do with your inventory, how to store it, and how to manage it. And I'm going to go through and show you exactly what I do in order to make it efficient for my Poshmark and eBay business. So I have about 1,700 active listings, and I store everything in these IKEA boxes on these shelving units from Home Depot. I'll go ahead and link those in the description box below, but I like keeping them on the shelves so it's easy to pull them out and access the inventory. This is what the box looks like on the inside. As soon as I list the item, I go ahead and bag it in these clear plastic bags so it's ready to immediately be shipped. And I put on an inventory label. And this label, it matches the letters on the box. And then each item gets a number. And back in the box, I place it so that the labels are on the outside. And when I am looking for an item, I can just easily flip through and find that particular inventory number. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I bag my inventory, and that way it's ready to go as soon as I'm ready to ship it. So I have all my tools in front of me. I use this Miracle Fold folding board, and it's really helpful because I'm terrible at folding, and this makes it easy to put in the clear inventory bag that I store it in. So this is a 9 by 12 size. It's really good for shirts and tops and smaller items. And then I also have this blue folding board. It's a little bit larger and I use a larger size bag, the 11 by 14 with that. And I'm gonna link everything below so you can see um, the supplies I'm using for yourself. And these are just some labels that I use. They're your basic address labels, just white. And I write the inventory number on it with a Sharpie. So let me show you how I get it folded. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I fold this Free People Thermal Top. So you face it down in the center of the folding board. You're going to fold in the sleeves and make sure everything's inside this um, square. And then you fold up the bottom to the bottom of the square. And then you fold the left side in, you fold the right side in, and then you fold the bottom up. And it basically gives you the perfect fold. And you go ahead and slide that into your inventory bag. get the air out and then we're going to seal it up and then we're going to put an inventory number on it. So I go ahead and assign my inventory numbers ahead of time and this one is I9 and then I just place that on the edge of the bag and it goes right in the box. Okay next up I have a larger item. This is a dress but you're going to do it the same way. So you go ahead and fold in Put it face down, fold in your sleeves first on both sides. And then again, you're gonna fold the bottom up. And if it's really long, sometimes I'll even fold it like in and then up again, just to make it look a little bit neater. And you fold in each side. And then you fold up the bottom. You've got your perfectly folded item. And this just makes for a really good presentation for the customer also when they open it up. It's not just thrown in a bag or haphazardly folded. Slide it in, seal it up. And then again, I'm gonna write my inventory number on. And just stick that on the bag and it's ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I fold a pair of jeans. And I actually got this trick from back in my retail days. So I fold it closed so the back pockets are showing. And then I fold it into thirds. So you fold the bottom up to the pocket. And then you fold it up one more time. And that way I can see the label and whatever's on the back pocket. And I use the larger size bag. So this is the 11 by 14 and it folds or slides in just perfectly like that. And then again, you seal it, get the air out, and then I assign it an inventory number. Put 
put that on the edge again so you can see it when you're looking through the bins and you're good to go. Now, I'm not a naturally organized person, so it did take me a little while to figure out an inventory system that worked for me. However, I hope you picked up a few tips or tricks that might help you with your inventory management and efficiency as far as finding your items as soon as they sell. And if you learned something, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos.